Hey guys, today is, what's the date? April 5th, <laughs> it is April 5th today. I am currently 38 weeks pregnant today. I just had a doctor's appointment and I'm sitting in line uh, to pick up Peyton. And I'm really early like always, but I wanted to film like an update for you guys because it's easier to film it in my car and I really hope you don't mind just because we're in the process of moving and everything is everywhere. We have baby stuff everywhere, we're packing. It's a mess. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to come on here in my Jeep and film it this way. I literally have y'all propped up on a bottle of Tums. <laughs> Let me start off with the appointment. I'm 38 weeks today. Baby was measuring a week ahead. My allergies are killing me. I live in Texas and the pollen here is horrible like literally my eyes are like itchy me my nose is like stuffy and I have like a congestive like what is it congest I feel congested on my head like a headache pressure headache something like that I did find out today because we did an ultrasound to confirm like his weight and like how big he was and to check to see how he was doing which he was fine his heartbeat was 135 um, he was a big size baby she said but when she told me his weight it wasn't like what I thought um, he was only seven pounds 14 ounces which is really good I was thinking he was gonna be much bigger because two weeks ago the doctor measured him at seven and a half to eight pounds that was two weeks ago so yeah he was only seven point fourteen ounces which I hope that's accurate because I'm sure if you watched my previous videos, Peyton, which is my daughter, she's six, year old, six years old now, but she was nine pounds, six ounces, 21 and a half inches long. And this baby, measuring at 38 weeks, which he's measuring a week ahead, um, he's seven pounds, 14 ounces. She said his head was the biggest part, or whatever, um, of his body. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, we talked about induction. He said that I could induce Thursday, this like in seven days, um, this next Thursday coming up if I wanted to <coughs> He said but since the baby's not as big as we thought I could go ahead and wait the 40 weeks Which I might do that and there's a couple reasons why I Want to do that a he did say that if I induce Since I'm only I dilated a little bit more than my last appointment, but I'm still not enough to be at a two um, so he said that if I induce that could cause everything to be like prolonged whereas if i wait a little bit i can have progress in my dilation um my dilation i can have progress and it, i won't be in labor so long since i'm doing a natural birth and i want no epidural i was thinking about waiting um plus if i wait we are in the process of moving we move on april 21st max that's our move-in date but we might be able to move in a little bit earlier so if I wait until my actual due date which is April 19th he would only be in our old apartment for a little bit so it would just be easier you know that way because when you're packing you're gonna have uh, everything's gonna be everywhere and it's gonna be hard to have like a newborn baby trying to maneuver through boxes and all that stuff so I'm kind of, me and my husband are kind of leaning more toward waiting and not being induced. I was induced with Peyton and I feel like everything was just more painful. Um, when you're induced, I feel like everything's, and I've, I, I've, this is my only child. Peyton's my only child so far. So like, not only child because I have another child, but she's my only pregnancy, labor, delivery experience that I'm going off of. So I don't know for sure. I'm just going by like what I've read on the internet, what my doctor has said. Um, what friends have said when you're induced I just feel like it's harder of a labor because it's like that medicine kind of just makes everything happen all at once or not all at once but like you know it's like bam um, whereas if you go on your own it's kind of like a process your cramps aren't as bad and they kind of progress as you go on so I think it would be cool to kind of go on my own especially now that I know he's not as big as we thought which is really good I just really hope that that is accurate I really hope that seven pounds 14 ounces is accurate if anybody has been in this experience where the doctor said your baby was gonna be a certain weight and it was off please let me know because I know that with Peyton they did say she was gonna be a big baby but they were kind of 
leaning more toward like the eight pounds. Well, they were off. She was nine pounds, six ounces. But I don't think he ever confirmed that with an ultrasound. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's never confirmed that with an ultrasound. That was just by touching, oh, I spit, sorry. That was just by touching my belly and feeling her inside of me. I actually did an ultrasound to confirm like how much he weighed and stuff like that and how big he was. It was really hard to see. Um, like it was really hard to see him in there because he didn't have much room. He was like really crowded. I did see like a little side profile. She did take pictures, which you can't really tell. I don't know. Okay, I didn't bring them. I left them at the house. Um, but she gave me like a side profile. She did confirm that he was still a boy. <laughs> that was something that uh, my husband had asked if he was still a boy. And she did say that, you know, he was. We're going to go back again on Thursday. So I'll be 39 weeks when I do my next appointment. I could deliver a 7 pound, 14 ounce baby. That would be amazing. Like my ultrasound tech, she was like, oh, this baby's going to fly out when I told her how big Peyton was. Um, and I really, really hope that he's more on the smaller side just because you know it's very hard on um, your body and on the baby's body when they're so big lately like for the past three weeks I've been taking it easy I've been laying in bed um, I haven't been wanting to like walk around a lot I haven't been like there's certain things that you can do to progress labor I haven't been doing any of that I've been really taking it easy and just like trying not to stand up a lot just because I didn't want to go into labor because I wasn't ready. Um, now I feel like I need to start walking and especially now that I know that I really haven't progressed in dilation, um, I really need to start walking and doing things to help progress labor. Um, it doesn't always work because with Peyton I was 41 weeks and a day pregnant when she was born. I had to be induced and I walked a tremendous amount. We did a lot of things to progress labor. Um, like my husband would massage my feet and stuff like that and little things like that there's other ways to to progress labor naturally but um i just did the ones like walking and um you know being intimate with my husband uh that's supposed to help and stuff like that and we have not been doing that because we've both been kind of like let's wait a little bit just to see what the doctor says and all that stuff so um yeah that was that so now I can feel, I feel like I don't have to be so careful um, just because I know he's not so big um, to where I have to do like a C-section or anything like that. Um, he's seven pounds, 14 ounces, so he's a week ahead. So I just feel like that's, you know, makes me feel a lot better. So yeah, 38 weeks today. What else, what else, what else? I don't wanna make this video too long. I basically just wanna update you guys. Hopefully you can see my face because my steering wheel is kind of, covering it but um it's really cloudy outside very very cloudy it looks like it's gonna rain i'm very exhausted um i just i want to go home and take a nap but i don't want to take a nap because i haven't really been sleeping well and i think that's why i wake up so tired um when he checked me today oh my gosh every time he checks me for dilation it hurts but this time was just way more painful um, he was like pushing really hard. Basically wanted to come on here and just do a little quick update for you guys. Um, just because I have so much stuff going on right now at the moment and I feel like this is my downtime. Like when I'm sitting here waiting for my daughter, I am possibly going to go inside the school to volunteer if there's work to be done. But I don't know because like I'm really contract, like I'm really crampy, not contracting. I'm really crampy right now because he checked me. So I don't know if I should be standing up for that amount of time. I'm going to let you guys go. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep. So yeah, I will see y'all in my next video, which I don't know if this will be my last pregnancy update. I'm not sure. I doubt it. I don't think so. Um, this weekend, we're going to be cleaning a lot, packing a lot. So maybe that'll progress my dilation process and stuff. I do want to do like a what's in my hospital bag uh what's in my diaper bag and all that good stuff it's just to be honest right now it's not done i'm so overwhelmed with so much stuff that i need to do not only that i've just had a lot on my mind um i had two really close really close family members that just recently uh found out that they have stage four cancer um I don't want to cry. I don't want to really like talk about it too much because it's a very emotional topic for me. I hate cancer with a passion. Um, I've lost 
my uncle to cancer. I've had my baby brother, my brother, uh, he's not a baby anymore, he's actually way taller than I am, but he had to go through cancer and it was just, it's so hard. Cancer is, I hate cancer. Um, and then now I found out that two really close family members to me are diagnosed with stage four cancer and it had spread. Um, it's pretty bad. So please, I'm asking for any prayers. That would be greatly appreciated. Prayers do work. They work miracles and we really, really could use them right now. And yeah, that's just been, you know, on my mind a lot. It's a lot. It's, it's actually Chris's, um, one of the people that are going through it is Chris's mom, uh, my mother-in-law. And she's having a really hard time. And it's just, you don't want to see a loved one go through that. And the news that she got was not good at all. And she's in a lot of pain. And it's just, I feel like it's one thing after another. But we need to keep our faith and just continue to keep her in our prayers. So if y'all are, you know, religious out there, um, and if you don't mind praying for us, please pray. Because uh, prayers are wonderful and there's never... There's no such thing as too many prayers. So yeah, that would be greatly appreciated. Probably should let you guys go before I like start crying and stuff like that. Cause I'm really trying to like, not necessarily not think about it, but I'm trying not to think about it, if that makes sense. Because it just, it's been really like pulling at my heart and I have to think positive and I need to have my faith and I need to keep my faith and my faith is really what brought me through my brothers um, and I just hope that everything's okay because stage four cancer is not good whatsoever so um, and then the cancer that she does have is not curable and I think they said that my aunt's cancer is not curable either so yeah it's just it's really hard it's just, it sucks it sucks so bad that so many people have to go through cancer and there's no cure you know, I wish there was like an easy fix, but I really, I really hope you guys are having a good day. I want to thank all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. Thank you for tuning in and watching and wanting to be a part of my life and this journey with me, which is a big journey. Um, Chris and I have been trying for a while to have another baby. Um, it was off and on and I have been trying for a while to have a baby. So it's just, it's like, wow, this could be my last pregnancy because I don't know if I want any more kids. I keep rambling. Let me let you guys go because I'm kind of like talking to my camera and my windows aren't really that tinted. <laughs> I'm in front of the school. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. For watching. Thank you so much for watching. And if you don't mind, click that subscribe button down below. It's somewhere like over here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, it would mean so much to me. And also turn on that little notification bell. It's a little bell um, that notifies you every time I upload a new video. Because pretty soon, who knows, I could be having my vlog of me going into labor or my delivery video, you know, so you never know, you don't wanna miss it. And yeah, let me let you guys go. I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.